It's been a while, hasn't it? And the Canadians have been losing to everybody lately. New York, Washington, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Sunnyvale, everybody's been lining up for a turn because it's easy. And today, well, it was no different. The New Jersey Devils, come on down. Loosen up, Lindy. You got it. You got this one. The first period gets underway, and it was probably the most boring 20 minutes of hockey that I've ever seen. You know what's bad? When during the middle of the period, you're asking your dog if it wants to go outside to take a shit because you'd rather watch that instead. Now, the Canadians would somehow outshoot the New Jersey Devils 10-5 to 5 that period. And now we're going to move on to the second period, where this game's about to bust wide open. Only a few minutes in, Brendan Gallagher is going to blow everybody's mind when he goes upstairs. Look at that shot. I didn't even realize he could rise the puck anymore. But yes, he can, and that was a beauty. That one's going to put the Canadians up by one, but guess what? The Devils are going to answer right back, because only two minutes later, Timo Marr is going to get his stick on an absolute gift in front of the net. What a pass from Bob. Marr knows it, and we got a tie game. And we're not done with goals just yet, no. Now it's Nick Suzuki's turn, who's been as hot as a pizza pocket lately. He takes a pass from Cole Caulfield, gets into his sweet spot, this is where he likes to shoot, and bam, the boys are up by one once again. But the problem is, the Devils, they just, they don't know when to quit. Andre Palette is going to get a big, juicy rebound with only a few minutes remaining in the period, and he's going to tie this one up at two. Now, here's where, as a Habs fan, this game is about to get real, real ugly. Bring it on. Let's bring on the third period, boys. Mike Matheson looks ready. He dumps a full can of ravioli out onto the ice. But after this beautiful shift boy RD moment, countless turnovers. The Devils even get a 2 on 0 at one point. Poor Jake Allen is being hung out to dry by his teammates. Nick Suzuki picks up a two-minute minor for giving Nico Hishier the old stick in the balls. And guess who's going to make him pay? Oh my god, it's the guy with one nut. Somehow, he manages to sneak right in behind everybody, makes some moves, and puts his team ahead. It's 3-2 to two now for the New Jersey Devils. Only a few minutes later, Brett is going to pretty much dance right around Mike Matheson like he's a pylon and give the Devils a two-goal lead. But if you look at the replay, how does this even happen? I like how everybody on the ice just goes out for a change. Like, eh, boys, they, they got this. But no, they don't. Nick Suzuki would score his second goal of the game with the net empty, dragging the Canadians back into the fight by himself. But at the end of the day, it just it wasn't enough. What a horrible stretch of games we've been witnessing. I'm pretty sure this is the first time this season that Montreal's lost like five in a row now. And it hasn't been a good time. Look at Larry, Curly, and Mohair. What a clip. This one's going right into Junkie's Hall of Shame. But anyway, you guys can let me know how you feel about all this down in the comment section. Don't forget to cross check the like button right in the numbers before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.